Good afternoon. Hi, everybody. My name is Jeannie from Create and Babel, also independent designer with Chakator coming to you on this. Is it really, is it really Wednesday? How the heck did that happen all day? I was thinking it was Tuesday. I don't know why. I, honestly, I'm surprised. Has that ever happened to you? Like, what the heck day? How did it get to be Wednesday already? Anyway, how is everybody today? If you are new here, let me know in the comments that you're new so I can explain more about Chakator. But I also put this up for anybody that comes in and maybe reads, um, watches the replay and is unsure of what's going on here. I am going to leave that up for just a second and then come back to me. Hi, Margaret. How are you? How is everybody doing? I'm doing good. It was another beautiful day here. I didn't really get to enjoy much of it, but it is a pretty warm day. I think rain's coming tonight or tomorrow. I'm not sure. So April's going to go out raining too. I think it came in raining, but that's okay. That's all right. What I am going to work on today is going to take our minds off of rain. Now, anybody that's been watching, hi, Tina, um, knows that this is the Club Couture design for April and this is your last chance for anybody that is not a Club Couture member. Um, today and tomorrow your, it's your last chance to join the club and add this particular design on and so I'm going to use it again today but I'm also going to be using other designs too and and have some fun. This one I used on a clipboard. Um, today I'm just working on a scrap piece of wood that I have left over from a workshop that I did for those big welcome porch signs and we did once the, the participants had their choice of using a stained side or a painted sign side white like whitewashed so I'm going to use the stained side for this chalk for this design let me move this um, but this one's going to be fun and whimsical. I mean, the whole design, I think, is fun and whimsical anyway. Um, but we're going to make it even more fun by adding fruit to it. Because you all know, anybody that's been watching me knows that I'm kind of crazy. I'm a crazy fruit person. I love decorating with fruit. Um, if you see behind, behind me, the lemons in the pitcher and in that lemon sign. I just love decorating with citrus. I think it's so pretty. You have rain in Northern Indiana. It's coming our way. Hi Loretta. Thanks for sprinkling the chocolate. Yeah, I wanna mention that too. Um, the greatest compliment you can give me is to share these lives. So thank you for that. And then I put your name in a hat for a drawing over the weekend for a, a little prize from me for sharing. So let me, let you see what I am doing. So I'll put this typewriter towards the bottom of this and I am going to go like, I don't know if I've ever seen a yellow typewriter, but today we are having a yellow typewriter because why not? And I'm not sure that I'm going to use that piece of paper. So I think I'll ignore that for now. I think my paste could use a little water. So I'll add some water and give that a stir. All right, now we're ready to use. This is going to be a fun, bright, happy, very happy typewriter. Because why not? I'm gonna try not to use that piece of paper because I, I have something else in mind. But I don't know if it'll work or not. We'll see. So first, quickly get on my, my yellow. Oops, did you see that lift up? I hope that doesn't cause a problem. There we 
go. See how we did here. Not too bad. Wipe off that mistake. Now I want a piece of paper that's bigger because I think I want to do, um, I'm going to be using this transfer, Live Life with Zest, and I think I'll have this coming out of the typewriter. So I need a piece of paper. So uh, I'm thinking about this. I just need to draw a line up that way. Huh. Let me see what I can come up with here. I should have thought about this before I came on, but here's what I'm going to do. It's going to be white anyway. So let's hmm. If I use a chalk marker, I could do it that way. What I need is a square. How about I just paint it on? How about that? You could use I'm just going to paint on my own piece of paper because I could have used the piece of paper that came on the transfer but it wasn't going to be big enough so I'm using my chalk paste as paint and you'll quickly see that I am not an artist at all, but I think I can draw a rectangle. And I need to make that big enough. And I might have to use the Live Life with Zest because the wedge might be too wide. And that's okay, I'm fine with that. So I'm just using this paintbrush to paint on my piece of paper coming out of our typewriter. Why not? I could probably, if I took my time, find a transfer that has, you know, a big enough open space around the size that I needed, but that might take a while going through them all. There. There we go. And I think that might be big enough. Let's check. Cut that out. I love putting the different, you know, challenging myself to use more than one transfer on a design. It's fun to see what you can come up with. So all of you watching, either the live or the replay, I'm curious as to how many of you are club members. I think pretty many. I'm going to add some water to this. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Devin. Hi, Yvette. Hi, Loretta. I can't remember if I said hi to you earlier or not. I think I did. make my paper higher so this is today and tomorrow 
you can join Club Couture and still get, you can add on this typewriter. Your, your subscription starts with the May, but you can add this one on. But once the calendar rolls over, that's it. It's done. Okay, look at my paper. That's I have to put another coat on there. Let me dry this quick. And the color is almond of my paper. In case anybody is wondering. And the typewriter is Bumblebee. I'm just drawing that so I can even up the shading of this paper. Using chalk paste as paint. Okay. That's that. And once it's thoroughly dry, I'll probably go around that and um, with the chalk marker. It'll look a whole lot better, I think, once I do that. Okay, let's all watch the paint dry. <laughs> Doesn't take long. Actually, what I would probably do again is put the transfer back on and do another coat of the yellow just to make it brighter. I think I'm going to, if you don't mind, it won't take long. You know, just the main part of the, the typewriter. I just think, I don't know. I just think it needs to be brighter. Down, down towards the bottom anyway. I know, I'm living life dangerously doing this, but I don't know if it'll go through. That dried chalk paste, but we'll find out. This is the keyboard part keyboard listen to me okay yeah that does look better going heavier on that at the bottom okay I like it that makes a difference I don't know what made me think of that sometimes I come up with a good idea <laughs> once in a while you love the bumblebee truck in the background. Yes, me too. I did a video, I think, yeah, I posted it in this page. Yes, I love that truck. And then, you know, I just made it fit in with, and I'll bring that closer when we're done, but yeah, I love that truck. Okay, that's done. Let's see. This is what I was talking about, like just going over the edges here just to make this more defined oh yeah that looks better too hey i had two 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 good ideas today where's my calendar i'm gonna write that down i'm gonna tell my husband <laughs> he won't believe it okay let's outline the paper For some reason, it just looks better outlined. Okay, these are we have these chalk markers. These are great. I like these. They come glitter gold, glitter silver, black, and white. 
I think are the only colors that they come in right now. They come in handy. Okay, there's my typewriter, my sheet of paper, this dry, and hopefully this fits. And you know, it's, um, I'm putting fuzz on it using my pants. Yeah, here we go. Line up zest as best I can. Live life with zest. I'm looking at my, I'm going to do that in green. And there's a reason I'm doing it in green. You'll find out. Something else is going to go on here and might as well color coordinate. Okay. It might look silly, but it might not. Oh, this is a little dry. Add some water. What color is this? Good question. This is a meadow. It's a fun springy green color. It's a little lumpy. Got a lump in there. You know, if you get lumps in your chalk paste, don't worry about it. Just spread it out. Smash them out. They still work. Hopefully, I'm not going to pull off that paste. And I did not. Woohoo! There we go. Bring that to the side. Now, what else do we want? I'm probably thinking, Jeannie, what do you have these round things for? They're going to be accent pieces. So let's find what I, I don't want anything else on this. I think I'm done with this. Okay, so I'm going to put that to the side. I don't want anything else from there. So I'll put that to the side. But I do want more lemons. All right. So boy, I'm using three transfers on this. When life gives you lemons, I'm looking for the lemons. These are just those like splashes. I don't know if we want them or not. Maybe. Maybe a leaf. Maybe, maybe, but we definitely want. Where's the other lemons? think I want this lemon. I want the lemon that's, I do want these leaves though because those are cute. And I like these splashes. Okay, I want these and these. I don't want these. They're going back. Where's my lemon slices? Where, oh where, oh where did they get to? As soon as this is over, I'll find them. Okay. Well, I'm not going to look any further. I'll use these that are in here on my lemon slices.
Oh, you know what? Found them. <laughs> of course I did. Okay. Under my board. Okay. These are just round pieces of wood that I cut out with my bandsaw and they're not beautiful, like they're rough because, you know, nature doesn't give you perfectly round lemons. So I didn't really worry about that. I could have used a hole saw bit, but I didn't. So I'll center this, make my lemon slices. I can even make lime slices too, which I think I'm going to do. I know, you're thinking, what does that have to do with a typewriter? Nothing. Look how cute though. It's really cute. Okay, there's that. No, it's, it's like a whole grouping. Oh my God, Megan, we're so old. <laughs> I know, I know, it was so much fun. Sweet had so much fun. Oh my gosh, Megan is an old friend from years ago. Uh, we worked at the same place and um, she introduced me to the world of scrapbooking many, 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 many years ago. And oh my goodness. And we scrapbooked every chance we got. And we had so much fun. The good old days. Oh, this is hard. Oh, my chalk piece. I'm not using it fast enough. It's drying. And here's why. Because I'm the only one using them. You know, usually I have workshops going on. And there's people here using this stuff. And, you know, so my, nothing dries out because I, you know, everything's getting used all the time. But since we're all quarantined, of course, nobody's been over and of course not doing any workshops or anything like that. So I can't use it fast enough. So the chalk paste dries, you know, um, needs watered because I'm, I'm not using them all fast enough. And you guys know I chalk every single day, but not fast enough. Oh, Megan, it's so good to hear from you. A lot has gone on in the last 20 years. Okay. Oh, look how cute that is. So cute. Let's do a line because that'll tie in with um, my colors we got going on here. And I'm not going, I'm being really lazy. I'm not cleaning the transfer, which I should, but I'm not. Because I'm messy. There is chalk paste all over me. Okay, that's not so bad for having <laughs> used a transfer over. Are there lemons on the live light? Yes, there are. There are. There are lemons on there, but they're not whole lemons. They're, they're slices. And they can be pretty much any fruit you want. Thanks, Cheryl. Yeah, it'll be cute. I, the end is going to be the best part because everything will tie together. No pun intended. I'm looking at ribbon with lemons on it. <laughs> everything will tie together nicely. 
I, that wasn't planned at all. The whole pun thing with the tying and ribbon. I was gonna leave it a surprise. Okay, let's do the last layer of this line. Lining up, line it up, line it up. There it is. And do I have a lighter green here? Yes, yes I do. And it too probably needs water, but I'm just gonna make it work. I have, I know I have chalk crumbs falling. I'll get them. We'll see how this turned out. There, that's good. My lemon slice, my lime slice. There should be three. Um, so let's put the. Should we put the splashes on? Because. Just because. Why not? <sighs> what color should we do the splashes? How about the light yellow? This is called daffodil. And um, if anybody wants to know all of the products used today, just comment shop and I'll put the links in. And a VIP group. To get this, you need to join the VIP, or no, you need to join the, um, the club. And comment club if you want information about that. Comment VIP if you need to get in the VIP group. I've got lots of bundles, lots of bundles going on over there. New bundles every day. There's going to be new bundles every day this week going up over there, especially price stuff. Price to sell. All right, there's that. Got these. Do I want anything else? Mm, I'm not going to bother with the leaves. Let me see if I can reach this ribbon. What do you see? Isn't it awesome? Look at that pretty ribbon. I've been waiting to use it. So we're gonna do one of those faux kind of bows. So I don't have to get the bow maker out. Let's do about here. Yeah, I'm making, um, Stephen is third, gonna be 37 this year. Ay, ay, ay. I don't know how that could be. <laughs> I don't know how that is. My kids are so old, but I'm not, so I don't get it. All right. Yes. I know, oh my God, we did have so much fun. They are sweet memories. They really, really are. So I have those, all those scrapbook pages too. I think of you every time I look at them. Every time, because you did some of my pages. Oh my God, did we have fun. Okay, so I just put a few strips. Let's see, this needs other things too. I saw other ribbon that will go I'll try not to cut myself here we'll put those in the pile and what else oh I have so much making a pile of ribbons and I'm looking up there to see what else I see 
my ribbon rack behind you is the is where I'm looking. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Check this out. Don't ask me where I got this. But I've had that for a while. This has pretty little lemons on it. And I can put a few on there and then tie it all together with this. Okay. Let me move all this away. What color is the lighter green? This one? This one is Citrus Splash. This is a newer color. That's the lighter green. Or were you talking about... Uh, I don't think we used this one. Sage, no, we didn't. Okay, let me get these piled up here. Make this scrappy bow. to tie and I'll probably have to trim this whole thing because I'm not very good at this okay where oh where oh where oh where I need to grab a zip tie where for art thou zip ties see what happens when I clean my office it's terrible. It takes me forever to find things. <laughs> when it's a mess, I find things all the time. I'm sure I'm not the only one, right? I will get you that club information for sure. Okay, so then I'm just gonna scrunch, scrunch these all together and hopefully find the somewhat of the middle. So let me try this again. I'm trying to scrunch these in an orderly way and seeing if I have approximately the middle. That's my biggest problem is finding the middle. Well, I have a lot of problems, but that's one of them. All right. Zip ties help me because um, one of my challenges, uh, of which I have several when it comes to bow making, is getting it tight enough. So I had found out on a YouTube video that zip ties help you get it nice and tight. Because when I was trying to twist wire around, I just couldn't get it tight enough. Okay, and then hopefully I have it centered. Now, I'll trim off that zip tie and then see if I could fluff this out. And I guess I should cut notches in these ribbons. It'll probably look better. It's starting to look a little better. Now why is this one all long and this one's all short? I'm gonna yank that one. <laughs> There's nobody left in that apartment anymore, hardly. Megan, if you're still on, no one left. Hardly anybody. Everything went overseas. Okay, that's starting to look like something. A mess, but it's starting to look like... No, it's not. It's starting to come together. And I think it'll look better once I get these... Um, ah, get off there. 
not just cut in some of these edges. It'll look prettier. Do you know what may trans... No, I do not. I do not know what it is. But I'll tell you what, they've been out doing themselves every month. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm sure it'll be awesome, whatever it is. I'll know shortly though. Hopefully. So this is just a fun and whimsical. You know, this is gonna go with my whole little setup there with the lemons and I'm ready for a picnic with oh my gosh, so one of my friends posted um some a summer cocktail made with lemonade. There was lemonade was the main ingredient and it looks so good if I find that I'll post it if anybody's interested she's a blogger too and it just looked amazing so I'll get that and post it if anybody else likes fruity summery light cocktails hey that's looking better all right then I'm going to tie this around to hide the zip tie And I guess I should have turned my glue gun on, but I did not. So not prepared. Anyway, I'll tie that or glue it along there. And there it is at the top. I'll probably put ribbon going the whole way around so that the bow kind of makes a little bit more sense. But that's cute. What do you think? Austin's 23 and getting married in July. Oh my gosh. Yeah, 37. I know. I know. Megan, you're not, but I am. <laughs> okay, I'm going to flip this up. Whoops. I've got to get the glue gun going and put a ribbon around the top. I'll post the finished project pick so that you can see it. Isn't that cute? I'll get that all finished up. Post a project. Okay, so anything that you want, you know, you want to see any of the products for the products that I use today, um, just comment shop and I'll put all of those in there. And then club, club, and VIP, VIP. You know the drill. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, Thanks, Margaret. Thank you so much. And don't forget to put share if you shared it so that your name goes in the drawing. I love the yellow too. Fun typewriter. All right. I don't remember ever seeing one in real life. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you haven't done there for a long time. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I appreciate it. All right. I'll be back um, tomorrow. And until then, be safe, stay home, stay well, and I'll see you then. Everybody have a good night, Megan. It was so good to talk to you. All right, I'll see you all later. Bye.